Hi everyone, we're here to introduce War Thunder Update 1.61 Rope to Glory. Update 1.61 is small in size, but very exciting in content. New airplanes and tanks, a new system of squadron battles, improvements to gameplay and in-game models. War Thunder 1.61 is sure to make all our players happy. Let's take a look at the new arrivals in more detail. The P-47 N-15, the late serious Thunderbolt, a heavy, powerful and awesome aircraft. One of the most modern piston engine fighters and possibly the heaviest single engine fighter in the game. Thanks to its powerful engine, it can reach speeds of over 750 km an hour or 466 miles an hour. It perfectly restores energy after banking maneuvers and it can withstand incredible G-forces. It has eight high-caliber Browning machine guns, bombs, rockets and bazookas. It's a flying arsenal that rains down destruction on its enemies at breakneck speeds. The Ki-100, in addition to the Japanese Army fighter line, based on the late series Ki-61, this fighter was equipped with an air-cooled engine. The new engine is slightly inferior to its predecessor in terms of speed, but is much better in reliability and fire resistance. The new carrier-borne F-7F Tiger Cat fighter will become available to participants of our Operation Summer special event. One of the most dangerous and most popular twin-engine fighters is now capable of carrying the destructive Tiny Tim anti-ship rockets. The fighter also has premium status, so the new Tiger Cat will bring its owner lots of fun along with heaps of silver lions and research points. Haven't entered the Operation Summer yet? Hurry up! You can find out the details on our official site. We're continuing to work on replacing old in-game models with new ones. A new awesome appearance has been given to the British Spitfire Mark IX Model F, along with one of the first airplanes in the game, the German Heinkel 119H6, a true old-timer. This rejuvenated old workhorse has also received two machine gun turrets that will greatly increase its survivability in battle. We've also made several exciting additions to the array of ground vehicles available. The Broombar self-propelled howitzer will join the ranks of German armored vehicles. The short but destructive 150mm cannon will lob shells weighing 38 kilograms each. Few can survive such a shot. Each hit will either immediately send the opponent back to the hangar or deal such great damage that they won't recover from it. Aim well and you'll be the star of any battle. Next, we have two important additions to brawn battles. Two new top-tier medium tanks in the US and USSR lines. The M60A1, the successor to the excellent M60, is superior to its predecessor in all its characteristics. Incredibly thick armor on the front of the turret, an excellent rapid-firing cannon and good mobility. The set of qualities makes the M60A1 the best medium tank in the USA's tech tree. Burst into the thick of your enemies, flank them, mercilessly fire from the sides and rear. Now you have no enemies you cannot defeat. Soviet tankers are getting the newest medium tank, the T-62, the direct successor to the threatening T-54s. The main advantage of this tank is its 150mm cannon, designed specifically to combat the newest American tanks. Its long reload time is more than compensated for by its excellent armor penetration, even with stock shells. T-62 is a tank created specifically to destroy enemy armor. It's fast, maneuverable, has excellent protection and a truly deadly cannon. Pain and suffering for enemies, pure joy for the owner. Be sure to try out this beauty in battle. Another new vehicle for the US ground forces, the Canadian Ram 2 tank, which courageous Canadian tankers trained with before taking part in the heavy battles in Europe. New arrival to the British line, the legendary two turret Grant Mark I, which will become the first reward for participants in the Operation Summer special event. Both tanks are perfectly balanced in terms of armor, speed and armament and are perfectly suited to any challenge on the battlefield, from daring rushes to the stalwart defense of strategic positions. Try them out in battle, you're sure like them. Another special event tank for those who decide to accomplish all the summer event tasks will be the experimental Soviet KV-220 tank. This vehicle is based on the KV-1 heavy tank and surpasses its predecessor in all respects. A powerful and accurate 85mm cannon, armor of up to 100mm in thickness and the new engine, this tank is a true terminator at its rank. A valuable price for the most tenacious tankers in War Thunder. We're also adding the ability to replace down crew members in battle. Thanks to feedback and suggestions from players, we've developed a new game mechanic which will be an optimal solution to increasing the survivability of tanks on the battlefield. You'll be able to prepare a reserve of one extra crew member before battle to 
replace a knocked out tanker when necessary. In realistic and simulator battles, you'll only be able to replace an out of action crew member at strategic points that belong to your team and only on the condition that a minimum of two tankers in your crew are still in action. In arcade battles, it's all simpler. The reserve will arrive automatically at any point on the map as soon as only one tanker is left in your crew. You can also summon the reserve by pressing a button if a particularly important crew member has been injured. The reserve tanker is researched as a modification for all War Thunder ground vehicles. Excellent news for War Thunder squadrons! Squadron battles are moving to a full-fledged seasonal system. Each season will last two months, with a total of six seasons per year. Player ratings are reset at the beginning of each season, so in each season squadrons will have to prove their worth and assert their rights for rewards over again. And there are going to be even more rewards now. First of all, we've increased the number of prize-winning places with rewards in Golden Eagles from 3 to 20. Apart from Golden Eagles, Squadrons will now be able to get unique decorative clan tags, special decals and trophy marks in tanker profiles with the name of the season and position of the squadron in ranking battles. The overall number of prize-winning places is now 100, and your squadron could be the best of the best. Commanders, lead your troops to victory!